I'm Joe Lopez in Juneau Beach where sea turtle nesting season is underway and now staff at the Loggerhead Marine Life Center are busy to try to protect them. A hot weekend is expected to bring in locals and tourists to area beaches. I'm here with my daughter who loves to s swim in the surf and uh, cool off. And also at the beach, sea turtles laying their eggs. You know, what could we do to protect them, make sure we're not walking over their nests and squashing them? I'm sure they'll be well marked, but you know, we'd like to know more about them. Miley Ramsey is in town from Virginia and says she went by the Loggerhead Marine Life Center, which has launched its nesting season awareness campaign. The Marine Life Center's slogan right now is uh, respect the locals, and they're obviously talking about the sea turtles. What does that mean for you guys? They are the locals and uh, we want to live with them peacefully and uh, respect their habitat. Staff from the Loggerhead Marine Life Center says they're working around the clock to look for sea turtle nests and mark them off like this one in efforts to protect them from beachgoers. Our record is 524 nests in a single night on nine and a half miles of beach, so it, it gets it gets really, it's really remarkable out there to see these animals. Justin Peralta is the director of research with the center and says last year they documented 18,000 nests. If you're digging any holes, fill those in. If you're putting umbrellas in, be aware that there might be an unmarked nest near you. He says approaching a nesting sea turtle is against the law and it could also spook the mother turtle and cause her to abandon her nest. They're having to you know, evade all the predators on the local beaches and they're dealing with plastic ingestion boat strikes, climate change, habitat loss, all of these things. So for a turtle that small to survive from, you know, a few grams to hundreds and hundreds to thousands of pounds is kind of my favorite part. If you're at the beach at night, you shouldn't use any bright white lights. Instead, I'm told to use a red or amber light like we're using. As they say, sea turtles are less sensitive to those colors. Reporting in Juno Beach, Joel Lopez, WPTV News Channel 5.